Hello guys, welcome back to Gaming Flow and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix loads of the file is having crashing issue, it is not launching, won't launch, freezing, stuttering, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen and even the black screen issue which is happening for many of the users right now and how we can fix this up. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about when you are having this trouble, we just need to follow the instruction and the first one is all about we have to do a simple restart on your system. So just go over here in the start, click on the, uh, the start icon, go to the power icon over here and go for a restart. Once the restart is done, try launch the game and you have to see whether the issue is solved or not. This might work or may not work because some sometimes a simple restart can fix a lot of trouble. That is why I'm recommending you, you can try with First one, you can try with a simple restart. Next one is all about nothing but we have to try with verify integrity of game file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip this to the last because it's going to take a little bit of time and we'll move to the next step. Next step is all about we have to launch the game from the installation folder. So right now we are in the Steam. So launching the game from the Steam might be an issue. So we need to launch the game from the installation folder and we have two way. One, we have a shortcut from the Steam. That is select the game, right click, we have to go to the properties, go to the install it file and just click on the browse. So that will redirect you to the installation folder. If you check at the top, that is this PC, local disk C, program file x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, loads of the file and from here you can launch the game. So apart from this shortcut, you can also navigate to directly to the installation folder. So just go to the file explorer. Now from here, go to this PC. Now from here go to local disk C, go to program file x86, go to steam and from here we have to go to steam apps, go to common. Now from here we have to go to lots of the, uh, we have to go to lots of the file and select this one and go for this one and try launch the game and that is what we have to do. So just try launch the game from here, that might be working because launching the game from the installation folder, it did help it for me for the uh, games like you know back for blood. Even for Battlefield 2042, it did work it for me and even it helped for Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So we can try this one as well. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to set the Windows uh, language to, uh, not the language, we have to make sure the date, time and region should be correct. So before proceeding to this, I'll be showing you two more steps which can be done from here itself. That is all about, we have to run the game as an administrator. So just go over here, right click and we have to go to the show more option. Go to the properties, go to the compatibility, click on run this program as an administrator. You have to mark this, go for apply and go for OK and try launching the game. Another one, we need to run the game as compatibility mode. Go to show more options, go to the properties, compatibility. Now from here, click on run this program in the compatibility mode. So you can set this to either to Windows 7, go for apply and go for OK or you can set this to Windows 8. And you can go for uh, apply and you can go for ok as well and try launching the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to move to the next one that is all about we need to set the date time and region correct so just go over here in the search navigate to settings now from here go to time and language now from here go to date and time and make sure the time and time zone should be correct this has to be correct and this has to be correct and this has to be correct as well now just go back go to the language and region now from here you have to make sure the you are from the uh, geography and you have to select the right country for it. For example, if you are from United States, you have to do the same or if you are from United Kingdom, select the United Kingdom and that will be working fine. So once you're done with this one, if the issue is still there, we can try moving to some of the most helpful workaround and one among them is all about we have to launch the game and you have to press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. So just launch the game and press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. It did work out for many users, you can try this over as well. After this, if the issue is there, you can move to the next step. That is all about we have to uh, delete the saved game file, which will lose you all the progression. So just go over here in the file explorer. Now go to this PC over here. Now from here, go to the documents. Now from here, if you find the folder, just delete the game. And also you can also navigate to the game over here. And if you find the folder over here, just delete the folder of the game. So keep in mind, you will be losing all the progressions of the game, but that is fine. Once afterwards, just close everything, go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about nothing but we need to unplug all the USB devices. So you might be connected with multiple uh, controllers, you might be connected with joysticks, you might be connected with a lot of things. If that is the case, that is why we are having the issue. 
So what you need to do is we just need to unplug everything. You have to unplug everything. And once you unplug everything, try launch the game. And even if you wanted to continue with the controllers, you can launch the game. Once you are in the game, you can try connect it back and try uh, continue playing the game. That will be working fine. Next one, we need to allow the game to Windows security. So just reason go over here in the search. We have to go to the control panel. Now from here, go to system and security, go for Windows Defender Firewall. Go for allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Keep scrolling down and navigate to the loads of Fallen. Keep scrolling down. And as you can see, the loads of the Fallen is added. And also make sure both the private and public has to be marked, which is very important. Once afterwards, just imagine the game is not here, we can add it by default. So just click on the change setting. Go to allow another app, go for browse. Now go to this PC, go to local disk C, go to program file x86, navigate to Steam, go to Steam apps, go to common. Now from here navigate to lots of the file and just uh, keep scrolling down and navigate to lots of the file and now select this one and go for open and add it. So I'm getting the error because it's already added. So once you add it, you are fine with it. Just close everything, go back to the Steam, try launch the game and you have to see whether the issue is solved or not. Still, if you are having the problem, you can try with performing a clean boot. So just go over here in the search. We have to go to system configuration. Now from here, go to the services, go for disable all, go for hide all Microsoft services, go for apply and go for OK. Now the users who are watching this, you have to go for restart, but I'm going to go for exit without restart because we're in the middle of showing. So once after the restart is done, try launch the game and you have to see whether the issue is solved or else try with uh, disabling the steam overlay go over here and right click and go to the properties make sure if this is enabled you have to disable this and try launching the game once afterwards you can also try giving the commands in the launch option the first command is dx11 try giving the commands dx11 and try launch the game if dx11 is not working try giving the command dx12 and try launch the game so either the dx11 or dx12 any one of the things will be working fine we can try with this and that will be working fine next one is all about nothing but we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card so just go over here in the search and we have to go to the graphics settings now from here we have to keep scrolling down and as you can see i have already added the game but i'll be showing you how to add it just click on the browse now from here go to this pc navigate to local disk c go to program file x86 go to steam and we have to go to steam amps go to common now from here navigate to lots of the file and just go to lots of the file and over here now from here just go to okay lots of the file and select this one and go for add and once it is added you have to do the same so right now as you can see the game is already added so i think this is the game okay so okay just click on this option and as you can see this is by default this is high performance so you have to change this this will be by default let windows decide change this to high performance and go for save once you're done with this one we just need to close this and we have to go back try launch the game so adding the game to dedicated graphics card did work it for many uses. We can try this out as well. Next one, we need to update the graphics card manually. So just go over here. I'll be providing link in the description to both NVIDIA as well as to the AMD. The NVIDIA users has to go over here in this particular page. Now from here, when you go over here, you will be able to get the, uh, you know, the drivers. You will be able to find the drivers. So you can uh, download the driver, which is the latest versions can be downloaded from here. Once you download the driver, you have to keep in mind, you have to do a restart on your PC after installing the .exe. If the same for the AMD, if you're on the AMD, just go over here, select every details over here and go for submit. Now from here in the submit, you will be getting two options. If you're on Windows 11, if the OS is based on Windows 11, download this one. If the OS is based on Windows 10, you can download this one and install. Restart is a mandatory and try launch the game. You can also try installing the Microsoft Visual C++. So just go over here and you can see if the system is based on x64 download this one if the system is based on x86 you can download this one install restart is a mandatory and try launch the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to uninstall and reinstall the game which did work it for many users so just go over here go to the manage uninstall the game for reinstalling it back you have to keep in mind that you should not be installing it back on the same local disk from which you uninstall you have to try a new local disk 
So next one is all about, you can also try increasing the virtual memory, which is a very important step. So just go over here in the search, go to the view, advanced system setting, go to the advanced, go to the settings, advanced once again, go for change, make sure this is blank and select the local disk where the game is installed and go for custom size, set the value for initial size that is 1.5 times the total RAM and the maximum size is three times the total RAM. So just go over here and we need to do a calculation. So just type your RAM. The, type, uh, the RAM of my computer is 32 GB and I have to multiply with a constant value which is same for everyone, that is 1024. Multiply it with 1.5, that brings you 49152. So just copy this and we have to paste it. If you're on the maximum size, do the same 32 GB multiplied with 1024, sorry multiplied with 1024 and multiplied with 3 because it is 3 times the total RAM so just copy this and we have to paste it and once you set every value over here just close everything go back and try launch the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to update the windows so just go over here in the search we have to go over here in the settings now from here go to the windows update now just update your windows which is very important and once after the windows is up to date you are fine with it and you can also try you know these are the possible workarounds which can be done when you are having an issue like i said there is one step which i left that is verify integrity of game file so just go over here in the game right click and go to the properties click on install it file and just click on the verify integrity of game file so what happens is this will cross check every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing you will be having the issue so what happens is uh, this will cross check uh, every single files and you know once after the verify integrity of game file is success you can try launch the game and that will be working fine so these are the possible workarounds you can be done i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye